These are Luna Moth caterpillars and I study and raise Luna Moths in captivity and soon they turn into cocoons. So now I'm waiting for one of my first cocoons to hatch. Oh my god, can it finally be? Listen to the sound. This my friends is the sound of a Luna Moth hatching from its cocoon. I can't wait to see it. Welcome to this world, beautiful little one. There you are. There you are. You did it. You did it. Oh my God. You are adorable. Even more than I imagined. You are adorable. <laughs> Welcome to this world. Come out. Oh my God, you are beautiful. You are simply beautiful. Little one. You're a male. Hello, sir. You are more than welcome. In my home, my little friend. Now let's give you some place to inflate those beautiful wings of yours. It doesn't look like much yet, but as you can see its wings are still tiny stumps at this point. It has to inflate them. If we wait, its wings will become beautiful. We need to leave it alone so it can pump its wings up and check back one hour later. One hour later. Incredible, incredible, this insect is so amazing, so beautiful, so stunning. The Bart Coppens YouTube channel has done it again, another life cycle of a beautiful and iconic species of insect. And I will continue to do so until the day I die to show you the life cycles of the coolest, the rarest, the most colorful, the most unique, the most beautiful moths and butterflies in the world. And today it is the Luna moth from North America, Actias Luna, a real classic. This moth has gotten so many people interested in insects. A lot of entomologists from the United States, they remember it from their childhood because they ever found one in the wild. And that's how their interest in insects has kind of started. And this species is gorgeous because of its... It has this green, yellowish, fluorescent color that's just really wonderful. Look at that, it's a male. That means that we are going to need some females soon in order to breed them for another generation. But wow, 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 wow. I love the Luna moth. It's not a particularly rare species. It's a really common species in the hobby. It's pretty easy to breed. I still get excited over them like I'm a child. That sense of wonder, it never goes away. Doesn't matter how many years of experience I have. This is a classic. This is, it's one of the most beautiful. Look at that, so elegant.
Oh,